Alrighty, boys and girls, what is going on? I figured I would start off with this hardcore Iron Man episode with something I've been talking about doing for a long time, and I'm just now finally getting around to it. Remember when we did Making Friends with My Arm, and we unlocked the ability to make all of those fire pits that helped out around the world? Well, I'm finally getting to that. I sat down and mined all of the salt I needed, uh, and plus some, I made like a hundred of each teleport, so now I can quickly get to Weiss, or Weiss, or Weiss, <laughs> and the Troll Stronghold quickly, to do an herb run there, so that's nice. I figured 125 teleports would set me for quite a while. I also got more than enough salt than I needed, just in case. Um, I don't think you'll ever need it for anything else, but maybe if they ever make more fires, I don't know. But I figured I would go around and show you where each one is and what the benefit is, because sometimes, I don't know if a whole lot of people have showed them, but the first one is the giant moles layer, which uh, I've actually never even fought the giant mole yet on this account. Probably won't, but here's the old fire pit right here. You just run right here. You need to make sure you have a hammer, saw, and all this other stuff. And then there we go. So now, I no longer need a light source in the giant mole layer. Normally you do to fight this guy, but now you can save an inventory spot, bring an extra piece of food, bring an extra prayer pot. I don't know. Should I fight the giant mole? Probably, but I'm not going to, so I'll meet you at the next, uh, the next fire. Oh, I unlocked a new music track. The Mad Mole. Sick. Alright, and here is the next one in the Lumbridge Swamp Caves, another area where you would normally need a light source. This one's not as probably important as the giant mole layer, but hey, it's, uh, you know, it's one we're going to get done and out of the way. Um, because you really don't have a reason, a whole lot of reason to come down here if you're a higher to mid-level account. This is normally like the Lumbridge Swamp Caves is for lower areas level, but, you know, it saves you having to worry about bringing a lamp down here if you get a Slayer assi assignment from, like, uh, Duradel, not Duradel, uh, What's the birth of guys? Turiel? I don't remember. Anyway, so there's the other one. Both of these so far have just been for light sources. So now you no longer need to bring a uh, lantern or anything down there into the Lumbridge Swamp Caves. On to the, there's one more like this, and I will meet you right there. Okay, and here's the last one. This is probably the most beneficial out of the three, at least for me, because you need a light source to come into the Cave Horror Cave. Now I don't need... A black mask anymore but if I ever wanted to get another slayer helmet for whatever reason or if I just wanted a black mask for fashionscape I now longer no longer need to bring a light source into the cave horror cave so those are the three that per uh, those are called the eternal fires because obviously they pr uh, provide eternal light so there's are those three now we're gonna move on to the next subcategory which is a fire of nourishment I need to go back to my bank though and get two uh, more mahogany planks and more steel bars you do need those along with the different colors of salts so allow me to do that, and then I will meet you at the next fire, number four, number quattro, number, don't say, don't say, quatorze, I think is that four in French? I don't freaking know, bro, I'm a nerd. Okay, so this one is called the Fire of Nourishment. It's the only one of its kind, um, It's and it's here on Weiss, the place you unlock after completing Making Friends with My Arm, and it essentially allows you to plant herbs here. So there are two... Wait, what is that new farming patch? As the the leprechaun appears. Uh, so you can plant, it's basically a new, just another herb patch. So now you can do eight herb runs instead of the regular seven. Which is, uh, these teleports are nice because it takes you right here. But you do have to light that fire before you can uh, start to grow your herb here. So don't forget to do that. If you want to grow, you got to glow. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. That's the only one like this. So there's one fire of nourishment, three of the eternal light. Now we're going on to the next subcategory. Category? K Words, man, they're hard. <laughs> Alright, so this is probably my favorite one, or at least the one I consider the most beneficial. This is a fire of dehumidification nation, which essentially, whenever you're in Mortmire Swamp, these annoying little freaking ghosts can no longer ruin your food. That's amazing, because that helps out so much. You don't have any, no more you have to worry about that. It's like I hate uh, Canifus, Mortmire, whatever, Moritania, I hate it. And this, these little freakers right here with the stupid faces, they're half the reason. But no longer can they bother me. This one is the most important. If you do any of these, do this one. Because that helps out tremendously for barrows, if you're running down to the tomb and they ruin your food. It's just, mm, mwah, beautiful. Alright, we got one left. One fire left. And it's another different subcategory. So, see you in just like five seconds. I gotta run there. You get to just freaking sit there and all that. That's great.
Okay, so this one's also pretty useful. I just don't use it very often, or at least I won't for a while, but this is near the God Wars dungeon. So you build this one here, and this is pretty sick, actually. Um, Bruh. Wait, you need, oh, are you kidding me? It lowered... Oh, you actually need 60 construction for this one? Ah, oh, frick. Uh, <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. I didn't plan that ahead. I don't have 60 construction. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I can't build this one, but uh, <laughs> I guess I'll need to get a... See if there's a boost I can get. But uh, you build it right here, <laughs> and uh, it prevents your stats from being drained, which is awesome. Um, because for reasons like this, when you're going to the God Wars dungeon and all your freaking crap is drained, but... F me, apparently. I don't have 60 construction. That's how far I read ahead. Well, <laughs> there you go. I'm going to see if I can get a boost for that really quickly. But uh, you get the gist of it. You get the gist. That's the last one. Um, and it prevents stat drain when you're at the God Wars dungeon, which is rad. I just got to uh, go find boost real quick because I need to get a plus two construction boost. So see you in a second. <laughs> you think I would have read ahead, bro? Okay, so I forgot that the Crystal Saw gives an invisible plus three boost, so I'm thinking if I can just restore quick enough with the Super Restore, and then, ah, come on, quit draining it, if I could just quickly, yes, okay, so the Crystal Saw came in clutch there, so now I no longer will have to worry about stat draining from, if I ever come here, for whatever reason, ever, which, who knows if I will, but that's, that's beautiful, honestly, and shout out to the Crystal Saw, in the OSRS wiki for the knowledge that, that I, for, I forgot that that gives a plus three invisible boost so that helped out just make sure you ring super restore so you can get that done and now I have extra um, salts that I don't need although I could make teleports but I would need to go back to the mine and mine a bunch of the bus salt which is like the regular version of it I guess um, so I could do that but I'm probably gonna just drop them because as far as I know, I don't need them anymore, and I think, I feel like 120 teleports of each of those is enough. I don't know, I might go back and finish that up, but there's that, so I've been needing to do that for a long time, and now it is finished. Um, so let's get, before I go back, before we move on to the rest of the progress episode, here are the stats. Not much has changed. Actually, I don't think anything has really changed. I am about 50% of the way to 96 farming, so that's lit. We might get it this episode. Don't know yet, because I don't know the length or how much this is going to expand, but uh, here we go. Let's, uh... Let's get on and do the dang thing. Okay, and when I empty this birdhouse, we should be 82 Hunter. We're getting so close, boys and girls. So close. One more level. One more level. And I can finally catch Dragon Implings. I have never been able to do that ever in all of freaking RuneScape. So that's going to be insane. Uh, I won't lie, I've been catching a lot of herby boars, herba boars, herba you know, the pet that you get at 80 Hunter. I've been trying to catch him because I want the pet. Um, I'm almost at 100. I think I'll record or, you know, I'll film a clip of when I get 100 just to see, you know, if I happen to get it at 100. But other than that, um, this is going great. It speeds up Hunter so much, herbivores. Like, that's a really good way to train. Um... So, I'm going to finish this birdhouse run and go back to that, and then I'm hoping we can be at 83 relatively soon, like, at least by the next episode, for sure, if I'm not. Because I've been just, I just did passive birdhouse runs for the longest time, but hitting 80 has really sped it up now that I know how, you know, just how fast herbivores are. I was going to do red chins, especially because I want the ranging experience uh, for later, but... I would much rather have the pet, and I mean, it's like a 1 out of 6,500 chance, so I mean, it's pretty rare, but I figure 100 kill count, I get quote-unquote with kill count there, uh, it would be at least a somewhat milestone, so I will see you guys in just a few seconds, because I'm at like 90-something right now, so I'm not too far off, and I will see if we get the pet in the first 100. That'd be sick, right? Is it possible? It, probably not. Okay, and here comes Herbivore, Herbivore number 100. Wow. Bet. Nothing. Well, I <laughs> guess I should have saw that coming, but there is a uh, harvest count, not kill count. 100. I don't know how many more of these I'm going to do. They're just so nice and easy. It's such good experience, and like just the allure of getting a pet from it is so nice as well. I definitely want to keep going. I probably won't get to 83 right away, but... I do want to keep doing this for a little bit. I just 
I just, I just like, I just want one more. I just, I just want a taste. It's just, mm, I just need a little bit more herbivore in my life. Herbivore, however you say it. I don't freaking know. But there we go. There's a hundred kill count, harvest count. Sorry, <laughs> with 82 hunter. One more to go. Um, so yeah, there's that. I uh, didn't get nothing. Who would have thought? Okay, so I just wanted to update you guys on something I've been trying. I forgot actually, I, as you can see really quickly, I'm in Pearl Pearl that there is those hunter potions that you can make through herb lore. So I've been chilling, just, uh, you know, I I've never actually really done this area before, or, like, tried this content, so I've just been kind of hanging out. Uh, look at this, I even got a fancy new butterfly net that you can get, this little thing that makes jars somehow, don't really know. I've just been catching some, uh, uh, implings, and, uh, if I haven't checked, if I, I you can check your count somehow, check totals. I've caught a few. Oh, wait, that's the surface world. Here's Pearl Pearl. Look at that, dude. Freaking. Oh, what's that? I caught a dragon and playing. But you only have 82 Hunter. Right, but I forgot about the freaking Hunter potions, dude. They, you can make them with like 50 some herb lore. You need those polar cabet teeth, which are pretty easy to get. You just go to the Rileka Hunter area, crush them up with the Pestle and Mortar, and you get a, make a Hunter potion. It increases by three levels. So I went from 82 to 85, and I just caught my first dragon imbling i didn't know these things were so expensive 300k um it's a, it was a pr i've been here for like a half an hour trying to find one to, to make appear you're supposed to just catch them a bunch and hope that one will just eventually show up in a new spawn i did get a magpie imbling as well i gave six black dragon eye but i'm going to leave now because obviously my hunter potion is going to go wear down so i could have done this sooner i guess when i had like 80 but i kind of forgot that those things even existed so let's run to the bank really quickly and uh let's see you missed it it was so impressive dude i ran after it i cast snare because i don't have a high enough magic level for uh entangle or is it <laughs> you need 79 for that but let's oh there's gourmet impling right there it's super so weird seeing them on the the main world now but i have my first ever dagon impling let's get if i get a dragonstone amulet i can finally finally have my first glory here we go Well, that sucks pretty freaking bad, doesn't it? What the f- Okay, so we're coming in with another absolutely awful Tears of Guthix run. Didn't even break 160. Okay, we barely broke 160. For how many quest points I have, I've done way better. But uh, we'll take it. That should at least get me another level in the good old rune crafting. We are now level 59, which is crazy because that's all been from Tears of Guthix. I have not trained the skill at all, but 59 is a huge level, especially for Ironman, because we can now, uh, you get two, well, how do you words again? It's been a while since I've done this, so please forgive me. I've been away on vacation. <laughs> um, we can now craft two cosmic runes per pure essence, so running them through, uh, and you know, actually, cause, because cosmics are hard to get for Ironman, because the drops are very sporadic, and there's only like two shops that sell them, and one of them is very annoying with the alley trader guy, and the other one is uh, the freaking major arena. So if you're a hardcore Iron Man, it's even harder. But now uh, crafting them is actually worthwhile. So that is good. And now we're that much closer to 60, which uh, is not really significant other than it's just a nice number to look at. And it's also, uh, I think you can boost, there's a, I think a, a hard achievement diary that requires 65 rune crafting either in Lumbridge or Ardoon. Sorry, my brain broke there for a second. Um, so that's cool. I'm going to have to train construction before next week, but we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. Uh, I mean, it won't shouldn't take that long. Uh, I don't think, as we look at the stats really quickly, because I don't know where this clip is taking place in the episode, here are the stats, if anything has changed uh, since the last time you saw them. Uh, here you go. <laughs> 1670 total level. That's dope. We're getting closer to 1700. And then, you know, even closer to the uh, 1750 world, which is beautiful. And at that point, my it will be technically better than my main for sure. No clickbait. Also, I got an easy casket. Let's pop this bad boy open, shall we? Give me the Cape of Skulls. That's not the Cape of Skulls. Okay, and just a little bit of a milestone here. Once I build this oak larder, we should be at bah, ha, 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 60. Freaking construction. Did you like my little rendition of Legend of Zelda there? That was beautiful, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I finally was just like, you know what? I'm just going to take the day. I'm going to chop some oak logs. I'm going to make some planks. That's why I'm broke now, because I spent most of my cash 
on making these oak planks. So that's, you know, just been uh, a great a great way to spend my money but that's nice we can oh we can now build a house seven rooms wide and a throne room bonus and wow all kinds of other garbage that i'm probably never going to use okay we get it construction has a lot so there's that um so now i'm good for tears of guthics for a while uh i've got about 164 planks left here so i'm going to keep going this going I, I wanted to try to get to 61 but i would have had to have got a lot more like 300 more oak planks that i did, just did not want to bother with because um see my range is 61 and prayer is only 60 so eventually well here in a couple weeks it's going to be where i'm going to start raising those as well if i don't want my tears of guthix to suffer from not getting rune crafting so i'm going to have to start working on those two as well so I want to try to get this to 61 as well to kind of just knock them all out in a row. How many times did I just say as well? Count them, take a shot for every time I say it. I'm sorry for your drinking problem in advance, but that's just a little milestone there, 60 construction. Now I can chill with it for a while. I'm going to finish up these oak logs or oak planks, oak larders. What is life? What does any of this mean? I don't know. <laughs> Help me. Help me, please. Please! He's following me. Why is he still following me? Why is he still following me? Get out of here, bro. Get out of here, brother. Oh, get away from me. Oh, splash. Nice splash, idiot. You big dummy. See ya. Oh, why is he still... He's still following me, though. Why are you still following me? Get away from me. Dude, I'm gonna tell my mom here in a second. Get away. This is how you play... Yes, be distracted. Why are you shooting me with bolts, dummy? Freeze me. Freeze me, huh? Oh, why is he not giving up? This guy's dedicated. Oh, he's so dedicated. Get out of here. Get out of here, bro. Catch me if you can. I can't believe he's still following me. Why is he not trying to freeze me? Oh, oh, nope. I thought he got... What is he doing? What is he... Uh-oh. Yeah, he... <laughs> go get him. Go get him. No, 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 no. Not me. Not him. Not... Yeah. No, no, stop. Stop. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, dude. Fight him. Fight him. Fight him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, this guy. I'll give him this guy. He's, uh, he's dedicated. Isn't this how you, this isn't how you play the game? I'm following the arrow. That's what you're supposed to do is follow the, follow the arrow, right? Why, why are you laughing at me? Why are you booing me? I'm right. Okay, that guy finally left me alone. I'm still alive, by the way. Because I'm playing the game correctly. I'm, I'm, this is how you play Last Man Standing. You hide. You hide away from everybody until you get points. Look, there's only 10 people left, okay? This is how you play. This is how you play this game, didn't you? Nobody told you? What do you mean I'm playing it correctly? Oh, I forgot to send my message. Now nobody knows I'm serious. Oh, now nobody knows. I'm playing this seriously, guys. Guys, don't you know? Oh my gosh, you thought I was playing- You thought I was memeing? Dude! <sighs> oh, it's not looking good, boys. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Yeah, leave. Yeah, get out of here. Go away. Oh, no, no, please, please, please. I'm so young. I'm so young. I don't, I don't deserve to die young! Oh, but I got two points, though. Okay, so I know, uh, obviously, that's not how you're supposed to play the game. I get it. But I don't like that part of the game, this part of the game. I don't like it. I don't like it, okay? Sue me. I just did it because, look, you need five points, and you can get, uh, no, I don't want a wilderness tablet. Magic shortbow scroll. So it makes your magic shortbow more doper. And uh, considering that that's the only, that's like the best ranged weapon I had, I figured this uh, enchantment or whatever it does, I was going to get the ornate maul handle, which makes, uh, it does something to the, the granite maul special attack, but I don't even have a G maul yet, and I won't for a while because you can't get one until like you can kill the gargoyles. But I do have a magic short bow, and I feel like if I increase my range as much as I can, that'll only help barrows go that much more smoother, which I'm thinking about doing next episode. Maybe like a whole like day of just barrows, or just a, like a hundred runs, something like that, because it's long overdue, and I need to start doing it because I need the Barrow's armor. So this Magic Shortbow Scroll, yes, I scuffed all five points of that of Last Man Standing. I got zero kills, whatever. But I don't care about none of this dang stuff. 
I don't even know what that means. I definitely don't want nothing that has to do with no wilt and wing of ring of wealth scroll. I don't even have one of those, although I could make one. Clue box, if I die, it doesn't matter, I die. All this stuff, way too much points. Way too many points. Just give me this, magic short bow scroll, give it to me. And then, uh, I actually don't even know what it does exactly to imbue the bow. But, I know because I looked up a thing that said it makes it uh, swagalicious. So, hold on. Let me, uh, though this is not what I want. I want a real bank with real people. Gosh. Uh, this is going to probably be the end of the episode, though. I just want to throw in a little bit of a fun little meme content there at the end. I, this episode's kind of been all over the place, and it might be a little, uh, you know, not, not a whole lot of dangerous, exciting content happened. I tried to throw in some fighting there at the end, but uh, <laughs> obviously you saw how that went. Um, I was out of town for about a week, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to play RuneScape. And also, The Last of Us 2 came out like two days ago. And I want to play that one because I love The Last of Us, the first one, and I want to play this game so badly. I've been waiting forever, even though I think they should have finished it uh, after the first one and just stopped it and left it alone. But I also want to be back on the internet, <laughs> and right now the internet is full of Last of Us 2 spoilers. So i got to play that game as fast as possible so that does not happen. So I'm sorry this episode wasn't crazy, but I, we, did, we did a bunch of stuff, I feel like. So let's use this bad boy on this bad boy. You imbued your magic short bow. So, what does that do? Uh, I don't know, but it's now worth 105k? Excuse me? How much is the magic bow usually? That seems really good. Okay, because I don't have a rune crossbow, so... It doesn't look any different, which is kind of lame. I wish it would have, like, changed its cosmetic, but that's going to help, I think, a ton with... Because I also don't have the best, like, ranged armor, so that's going to be sick. Um, so that's nice. But, uh, again, I apologize for this episode not being, like, super crazy dangerous. We are uh, nearing 100 subscribers, which is insane. I was at 81 before I left town. I was gone for about a week. I come back, and we're at 92. That's crazy. I make a goal. Of course, I make a goal that risks my entire hardcore Iron Man, and people start subscribing. You jerks. You filthy animals. But I love you. Gosh dang it. Now I love you. Now, I want to make... I just want to make this clear. I'm only going to do the Achievement Diaries in the wilderness that I actually can do. Like, so, like, obviously I can't do any of the elites. I can't do any of the hards. Well, I could do a few of them. But I, it's mainly going to be left down to the easies and mediums. Now, there might be... I don't want to make stipulations because I made the promise and I'm going to do it. Just bear with me. Let me take my time and let me just do it. It might be pieces. <laughs> I'm just very, very scared. But I promise you I'm going to do them. I'm not backing down on that promise. Don't you worry. 100 subscribers by the end of this month, which you got about seven days, or early next month. And by the way we're growing, it seems like it's going to happen. And you know what? Worst case, what? The worst case is I lose my hardcore Iron Man and then I can actually start doing dangerous content more uh, without such amounts of stress. So I guess no matter what, we're going to have a good time. Thank you guys for all the support, though, on everything. I love you guys, and hopefully next episode of the Hardcore Army will be much more exciting with more Barrows runs. Guaranteed Barrows runs, now that I think I have a good ranging setup for Arams. Um, maybe some other bosses. I don't know. I haven't tried Dagonoth Kings yet. I know I need to do that. There's lots of stuff. Morning's End. i got to do Morning's End Part 2 very soon. And then uh, maybe try the new quest. Lots of lots to do, as always. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you very soon in the next episode. Again, thank you for being patient with me. Um, life has just been kind of crazy all over the place. Uh, and I've just been out of town a lot. So I apologize for no episode. Uh, well, it was a Sunday. No, Monday. I've lost all track of time. Anyway, thanks again. This is a long outro. I know I'm sorry. See you guys. I love you guys. Bye.